Well, hello and welcome to this short presentation of the Skyway Invest Group or SWIG business presentation. Hard times today, skyrocketing cost of living, uh, job insecurity, tax creep and uh, so on. Uh, everyone seems to want to charge a fee for something and reach into your pocket and take it. So that's why so many people out there today uh, are having and struggling to make ends meet and they're on the lookout for a way to either supplement replace or exceed their income to escape from the nine to five grind. Okay, now more often seven to seven grind. Now more than ever, it's actually critical that you take control of your finances, both making what you earn work for you better and learning how to generate multiple passive income streams to ultimately become a professional investor and live a life of freedom. So on that, everyone has aspirations of a uh, better future. Now, whether it be just to drive a new car, to help the kids with their education, to work from home instead of having to commute to an office or a work site, to live in a nice house or a different location, all right, to travel the world and see different cultures, or just to help their kids as they're growing up. Now, I'm posing the question, can Swig or Skyway Invest Group change your life? And I'm saying yes, and we're gonna give you a few examples on how it will do so. So who am I? My name is Andrew Twelftree. I am a manager within the Skyway Invest Group, or SWIG. I'm a private investor both inside and outside of SWIG. And I'm a full-time online marketer, but I, I never used to be. All right? I was just a civil engineer out there working with big boys' toys on hot, dusty construction sites in Australia, um, you know, with the bosses and owners coming from one direction and the foreman and labourers coming from the other direction. It was a very, very high-stress job. So I very quickly become uh, resented the fact that I was spending so much time at work because I was always there at 6.30 in the morning till 6.30 at night because I had to be there to lock and unlock the gate uh, and five or six days a week. So there wasn't much time for a life outside of that. So don't miss that whatsoever, to be honest. Um, I'm also a cryptocurrency enthusiast. I'm a Skyway Technology co-owner and a father of three. So. Uh, and I'm also basically an Australian living in the Philippines by choice, because I can. All right, uh, now a few lifestyle shots there. That's the, our block of land up in the mountain. I'd love to build a house there if we could get internet. Uh, we were recently over in Kuala Lumpur for uh, one, a holiday and two, the SWIG event. Uh, and that's us in front of the Petronas Towers. And this is Andre over here. You'll meet him later in the presentation. So what are we going to talk about today? Three main things. Skyway Technology and how you can become a co-owner, the Academy of a Private Investor, which is an education course teaching you how to become a professional investor, and SWIG, or Skyway Invest Group, which is us. Now, um, more importantly, our launch of the Crypto Unit Club, which is uh, basically going to be an STO, and that's why we're all excited, because of the loyalty bonuses that will start imminently. All right, these will change lives. So let me move forward through the presentation. We need to do a disclaimer. SWIG are not registered brokers or advisors. Consider information offered as recommendation or personal advice. All business opportunities come with risk, so please be responsible for your own results. Figures offered are for illustrative purposes only. We do not offer financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and seek confirmation from a licensed accountant or financial advisor for compliance in your country. That being said, let me introduce you to a true genius. He is the winner of the Golden Chariot Award in 2017 for the most economically friendly transport. And he is the winner of the Slovakia International Peace Prize in 2018. All right, Dr. Anatoly Yanitsky, he's the Skyway designer, an engineer with 40 years experience, an author of over 150 inventions, has over 100 patents worldwide. United Nations actually gave him a $1 million grant to prove the validity of the Skyway system. He did, and that's why we're here, to <coughs> here today. All right, if you wanna know more about Yanitsky, go to his blog, yanitsky.com. There is a year's worth of articles with uh, great information and insight on what's to come. <clears throat> All right, let's have a quick look at some of the technology um, that we have in development or existing. All right, we have the uh, automated container loading, unloading, stack pack, rack and distribution system. 
Uh, it's in development in Dubai at the moment. Uh, we've got the freight pods where you can load and unload with forklifts, with pallets, or you can lo load loose freight. Now these pods run underneath the track, all right, so that they're not impeding the trains above. Similarly, we've got the um, ore moving solution, which uh, mining companies are itching for because these can be run on electricity from a big solar farm. They will save millions in diesel alone. All right, very, very sought after product. We have the cold storage units, which are in development as well. We have the Unibike. Now this is Skyway's little baby. This was the first prototype they built and got certified. And this is the one they carried around to different expos around the world to put on display. That's why we've got a lot of interest going on at the moment. The next one is the Unimobile, which is an electric car for disabled people. The uh, wheelchair actually rolls in the back and clamps down as the driver's seat, so it's a lot more convenient for those in wheelchairs. The next one is the Uniwind. Now this is a chairlift for mountainous areas and or snowfields. All right, the, the Unibus. Now this has evolved over the years up to what we have is the three segment unibus, which is effectively the size of a bus. Now I come, uh, or a tram, I come from Adelaide, Australia. We have trams there. You actually catch them from the medium strip halfway across the road. And the trams, once you get on it, move with traffic, stop it, traffic, traffic lights, and generally get in the way of, of other cars and trucks and things and slow things down. So imagine instead you actually catch the Skyway still from the medium strip, but you jump up a quick escalator or um, staircase, jump on the Skyway and whoosh, off it goes directly to its next destination without being impeded whatsoever. The added bonus is beneath it, you actually gain back another lane of traffic where the tram used to be. So normal traffic moves faster as well. Really cool solution and we've got projects about to roll out with this one. The next one is the luxury high-speed train. This will run up to about 500 kilometers an hour. Now, obviously, as this uh, further models get developed, there'll be ones that carry a lot more people to commercialize it. But with this, techno sorry, made this technology, we will out be able to build what's called a linear city, right? Now, because we can uh, you know, move people you know, two, three kilometers in two or 300 kilometers, in 20 to 30 minutes, the commute isn't as far to live out in the distance, away from the major cities a little bit. Right? We can build residential friendly cities with all the services built in these towers, have connecting skyways, very futuristic and exciting because of the opportunities uh, for investment there. The next one is eco-friendly housing uh, to be built in the cities and the drone, which has got a 1.5 tonne carrying capacity. All right? Now all of this technology, all right, when Skyway first started, they had a vision of a uni bike, a uni bus, but not what we ended up with, one of these six person stand up models and a couple of freight models, all right? All of this other technology has been developed as a bonus for us, the co-owners, or you, the potential co-owner, all right? So I pose this question, in the future, are you going to be a passenger or a co-owner? It's your choice, all right, so let's move forward. Uh, let's have a look at some of the expos we've been in just last year. Railway Tech in Indonesia, Future Cities in Dubai. Now, coincidentally enough, this is uh, where they had a lot of pretty major deals being done, and that's why we're constructing there today. We are in the Congress exhibit in Singapore. The Inva Expo in Russia, uh, where they revealed the electric car and the InnoTrans Expo in Germany. Now this is a massive expo that's run every couple of years. And this coincidentally is where we revealed the high-speed prototype. All right, now this is obviously Dr. Yanitsky hugging his dream. How cool is that? Now, you can, get, um, you can become a co-owner of this technology, which will be built globally, all right? So let me introduce you at this point to another true genius, our CEO, Andre Herato. He is a professional investor. He is a self-made multimillionaire. He is the founder of Skyway Invest Group, the creator of an academy of a private investor, and a finance and investments business coach. All right. Uh, our CEO has a huge responsibility to help crowdfund for two testing facilities, um, 
to help test and certify different passenger and transportation models so that we know it's safe to use. So this is where we could use everyone's help. So no matter what country you're from, this will be the biggest global project you've seen and be enabled to be part of, all right? This is Eco Techno Park. This is uh, an open day they had there last year where you know a couple of thousand people went there to see, feel, smell, touch and ride on the technology. Uh, it's called Eco Techno Park. It's built on 36 hectares of land in Belarus. Uh, and it was built 100% from crowdfunding. You can see the rigid line, the semi-rigid line, the slack line, and a few cargo solutions over the other side. We've got a couple of production facilities to, to manufacture the rolling stock uh, nearby. All right. The next one is the Innovation Park in the United Arab Emirates in Jarjar. It's built on a three kilometer section of land and it will also be crowdfunded. All right, here's the section of land. Uh, we have had team members stand on this corner and do selfies or um, Facebook Lives over their shoulder. It's right next to the Police Academy in Jarjar, if you're looking for it. This is a photo straight after the Golden Shovel Ceremony in September last year and an interview about eight weeks ago where we can see all the construction going on in the background. So it's well and truly underway, guys. The next project of note will be Moscow. All right, now this will have 200 kilometers of connecting track, connecting five airports around the, uh, around the city. All right, it will be a highly profitable Skyway owned and operated project uh, that will also be crowdfunded. Now, this is a computer image of where the track will go. All right, you can see um, Moscow city centre in there, it's surrounding it, and also obviously there'll be inserts to the city as well at some point. So the fact that they've actually planned that uh, would indicate that they've done a bit of research on it. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, evolution of the Skyway technology at the moment. Um, in 1978, Yanitsky came up with the concept. In 2013, 2014, he decided, right, it's time to make this a reality. The world needs it. So he went out looking for joint venture partners, angel investors and billionaires to uh, give him the money to develop the technology. Now they were all willing to do so, but they um, wanted too much percentage of the company. They wanted to up to about 80%. Now coincidentally enough, uh, one of Andre Hirato's students in the Academy of a Private Investor brought the Skyway technology to him as an investment opportunity. Now, Hirato ran the um, review process right, and got top marks in every category. So that's why they sought each other out and did an agreement, which in effect founded the Skyway Invest Group to help crowdfund for the development of the technology. Now, because of how all those events unfolded, it gave us, the mums and dads of the world, a chance to get in on an opportunity that usually only the elite get their hands on. All right, very, very cool. So over the next four years, we have, um, uh, we've been working through our development plan. So actually when Hirato and Yanitsky set, it, set out, they set out a 15 stage development plan, which encompassed fundraising goals and technology adoption goals. Um, sorry, someone's a phone's ringing on my desk. So what we've been doing is we've worked our way up to stage 13.2 out of 15 stages uh, along the way. So um, a, a lot of the technology has been developed and certified. We are ready to go with it. We are actually constructing in the United Arab Emirates as we speak. And uh, the Moscow project is just around the corner. So we get to sneak in just before the full on te technology adoption on discounts set out four years ago, all right? So we have well over 300 agreements, uh, memorandums of understanding signed with uh, over 17 countries around the world. So we have a lineup of contracts in waiting, all right? We have raised well more than $100 million out of our $200 million goal, and we are racing towards the finish line. Now, the really cool thing is our technology is fully transferable. So once we get the Moscow project up and running, we fully expect that many other projects will run a start concurrently all around the world. Now, uh, that's very exciting. So let's have a look at some of the different countries that the initial projects will be in. All right, Tanzania, Belarus, Ireland, 
Ukraine, Russia has committed to replace a lot of their rail network, Turkey, Italy, Ethiopia, Indonesia, uh, Philippines, India, and of course, Australia, just to name a few, there are others, all right? This gentleman is Rod Hook, he's the head of Skyway Australia, he will oversee all of the construction projects there. Um, and he lives in my hometown. I actually went down and met him. We had a, a counter lunch at the local hotel and talked everything Skyway. Now, he's, uh, he said he's got 70-odd different projects in waiting. Um, and the one that he's really excited about, or the several that he's excited about, are the mines up in the top end of Australia. They will have to build hundreds of kilometres of track with the ore moving solution. Very, very cool. So let's, for a moment, talk about education and uh, because the financial education is the core of Skyway Invest Group. So most people would know what, who, what, the co ah, what the cash flow quadrant is. We're not getting into it too much other than active income on the left, passive income on the right. Now, let's have a look at what we're taught at schools, all right? I had this drummed into me. Go to school, get good grades, go to university, get so you can get a good job, get a degree and get a good job and work hard and you'll be, you'll be fine. Who knows that that system is flawed? I believe that we, um, information is intentionally withheld from us on how to earn our financial freedom in schools because it's easier for uh, them to control us if we're broke, all right? Uh, I, went, I got two years worth of higher education tax, uh, which is what it was called in Australia, but uh, student loans and things like that. So people who go to university start out with a crippling debt. It took me 10 years to pay it off out of my um, tax returns, all right? Now, you know, you work for more than 40 years because they keep bumping up their retirement age. Your income is limited, so there's only so many hours you can work, so many things you can sell, fix, repair, or, or build, all right? And you only get a few weeks of holiday per year if you're lucky. Most self-employed people don't take holidays. As an engineer, I got two weeks in five years because they'd never approve it because I was always imperative I was on site. They'd just, they'd just demand that I take cash payments instead of having a holiday, all right? And by the end of it, because most people live paycheck to paycheck, you're going to have limited assets to actually retire on, all right? Unless you've been doing some investing over on the other side of the quadrant. So let's look at our system. Our lessons actually fast track you to the wealth building side of the quadrant both setting up business systems where you get people working for you, leveraging their time, and investors where you've got money working for you, all right? Now we can have unlimited, uncapped passive income streams, which leads to financial freedom on this side of the quadrant. So what is financial freedom? When you hear that, do you have visions of mansions, Lamborghinis, 50 foot yachts, and private jets? Most people do, <clears throat> but you, many people, Oh, pardon me, many people don't realise that it's a lot closer than what they think. Because if you can earn enough money passively, right, to cover your expenses existing, are you not financially free? All right, I, I pose the question you can, that you are. Can't you then work on business interests and investments to work on lifestyle after you've gained your freedom? Now, any day is a holiday on true time freedom. That's how I get to live in the Philippines by choice. All right, I don't have to be an engineer anymore. So we are all creating a legacy with generational wealth. All right, now for participating in the education within SWIG, you get a very special gift, all right? You get, for example, for the $100 pack, you get a gift of 2,700 pre-IPO equity shares in the Skyway technology, all right? Now, what does that mean? Pre means before, IPO means initial public offering, and private equity shares just means you own part of the company. All right? These equity shares will float at $1 when it goes on the London Stock Exchange, which will give your portfolio a value of $2,700. Now, we fully expect that the price will jump up to $10 within the first few, few weeks which will give you a portfolio value of $27,000. Now, obviously, as more track rolls out, the price will increase, all right? Now, coincidentally enough, this $100 pack qualifies you to be involved in our closed crypto unit club, all right, which is what we're all excited about at the moment, all right? So 
This is the uh, 58 and over qualification. Now, coincidentally, the next package, the 550 package, is the qualification for everybody, everybody else, all right? Now, but for this, you actually get a gift of 18,700 equity shares, all right? Now, obviously, at a dollar, they're worth $18,000, and at 10, 187 grand, so it gets a bit juicier, all right? The next pack is the $1,000 one, where you get 37,000 equity shares, all right? At a dollar, 37 grand, at $10, 370, all right? And there's one more package of note. Uh, obviously, there are many of higher value and many of lower value. There is no uh, limit as to what you can uh, spend. But this package is the Express Consultants Pack, all right? It has um, $4,400 worth of uh, cost to it. You get just shy of 200,000 equity shares, but you also get the qualification of consultant within our compensation structure. So you get to earn down to infinite depth and never miss out on another commission again, all right? So at a dollar, it's worth just shy of 200 grand, and at $10, it's just shy of 2 million, all right? So very, very juicy stuff. Now, how do you make money from equity shares, all right? Every company's main goal is to grow both in profits and uh, assets, all right? And as it does so, the stock increases. This leads to profits and dividends for co-owners and shareholders, us. So let's give an example of how smart investors make money. All right, Microsoft, when they first started, uh, they floated at 10 cents per share. They are over $100 per share today. If you had 2,700 shares with Microsoft, the portfolio would be worth $270,000. Now for a moment, what would it cost you to buy the equity shares at 10 cents each, 2,700? Is that not $270? Is that not a thousand times your money? Real world example, all right? So Skyway or opportunities like Skyway are very rare as I described before because of the way this unfolded. It gives us the mums and dads of the world a chance to get in where only eagles fly. Now as a co-owner of the Skyway technology, you will benefit from annual dividends that will be paid quarterly. Now this will happen after we go to IPO, after the Moscow project is complete. So it's a year or two away, guys, all right? But this is where you need to concentrate. This is how we get to the money faster. The Skyway Invest Group will also benefit with dividends or what we call loyalty bonuses from our investment portfolio, all right? This is a photograph of the big screen in uh, the SWIG event in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, which I was at. This gentleman here is Igor. He is the portfolio manager and he has a team of researchers working with him, looking at different investment opportunities around the world, all right? So back in 2014, Andre Haranto had the vision and the insight to know that at some point the Skyway technology would reach its 15th stage of development and would no longer need crowdfunding, all right? So we needed uh, another instrument to promote moving forward to keep the business model going for the SWIG members, all right? So what they did is they actually started an investment portfolio instead of um, putting the $26,000 in his pocket out of the company's profits, because it was every right to do so. Instead, he started an investment portfolio for us. Now, over the following four and a bit years uh, to February this year, the value of that uh, portfolio has grown from 26,000 to $10.759 million, all right? That's an average, if you divide it by the number of days, at 25.8% per day, all right? Pretty significant growth. Now this investment portfolio has been diversified into 21 different instruments within the investment industry. All right, let's have a look. We've got land in a couple of countries. We've got a heap of Skyway shares, all right? Cryptocurrency holdings, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and others, all right? We have land, uh, Visa and MasterCard shares, Facebook and Twitter shares, Berkshire Hathaway, Google, Amazon, FedEx, just to name a few. We have investments in the energy industry. 
the uh, banking sector and we've got cash investments and reserves. And something really cool is we are 50% owners in a gold mine in Tanzania. Right? Who remembers the Gold Rush show with Todd and um, Parker and the boys up in the Yukon in Alaska? All right? They would uh, jump up and down with excitement if they got one or two ounces per ton in gold, whereas our gold mine in Tanzania is producing six to eight ounces of gold per ton. All right. So let's compare our crypto unit club to other investment interest instruments out there. All right. Now, what I'll do is I'll start by what we are not. All right. The in, uh, initial coin offering market in the last couple of years, or ICOs, all right, has got a very bad name. All right. Because what what in, an ICO is is they get a coin on the blockchain. Now, I could set one up in 10 minutes and have Andrew coin, but I'm not going to, all right? What they have is a white paper and a story. So, you know, we're gonna have the, the new coin that's gonna revolutionize the uh, banking sector and disrupt, disrupt them. We're gonna have international transactions for zero cost instantly, all right? And people go, wow, that sounds great. I'm gonna put some money in this in the hope that it reaches, um, reaches the exchanges and they can sell it for an extreme profit and solve all of their financial problems. But what a lot of unscrupulous people have done over the last couple of, couple of years is do this and then run away with the money, leaving people more in trouble than they were in the first place, all right? So here's the point. We are not an ICO. We will be a security token offering, all right? We are an in internal launch at the moment, but the security token offering, the operative word is the security, which means there is an asset backing the token. All right, and in our case, it is the investment portfolio that we've just explained. That's had a traditional growth over the last four and a half years of 25%, all right? So it is growing at a fairly, fairly astronomical rate. Now, if you think that the asset backing our crypto unit, all right, which is the name of our token, all right, if you think the asset backing it is growing at a very fast rate, what do you think the value of the token will do? Obviously grow at a very fast rate, won't it? All right. Now, here's the beautiful part. Because there is a fairly extreme growth, we have the ability to take a small section of that growth between five and 25% and pay it back to the token holders as loyalty bonuses or what will become dividends when it hits the stock exchange, all right, in phase two. So these will start in July or August, okay? Um, very, very cool. Now there is a three phase rollout. We are in an internal launch at the moment or members of SWIG. We get the first bite of the cherry, all right? In phase two and phase three, we go to global merchandising and the Security uh, Exchange Commission licenses and all that. Basically, we will end up on the US Stock Exchange, all right? That's in phase two and three. But for now, we are doing an internal launch. So it's our way of getting our hands on a heap of these tokens before the public get their hands on it. All right, therein lies the opportunity, all right? So um, there's someone outside. Mylan, can you see who that is? Sorry, we've got someone hovering around the front door. I can see them through the window. Um, now I lost track of where I was. Right, what we'll actually do is drop back and talk about the US dollar for a moment. Um, who knows that that's in trouble? that there's a storm on the horizon or a financial crisis around the corner. Uh -huh. um, it all started back in 1971 when Richard Nixon took the US dollar off of the gold standard temporarily 50 years ago. Now at that point, it allowed banks and governments to conjure money out of thin air, all right? And they've been doing so in droves. In fact, there's more debt on the planet than money to pay it back with. All right, and that's how the whole charade is carried on. They need to create more debt all the time to keep it going, all right? So banks and governments have been doing this for years, all right? Banks have the gall to actually charge you interest fees and charges 
on money they lend to you that they've just created out of thin air. How is that fair? All of the American uh, quantitative easings, they have created trillions of dollars and inserted it into the money supply to prop up the banks because it's as if they're not making enough money already, all right? So this is why it's so tough out there to make ends meet because there is so much more currency being added to the pool, all right? Now, back before 1971 and the 50s or 60s, you could actually take your money into a bank and exchange it for gold, okay? Now, gold is a brilliant store of value. Um, back in the Roman days, you could actually buy a chariot with a bar of gold, and now you can buy a car, all right? And it will continue to hold its value dur uh, during the generations to come. All right, because it is a precious metal and it is a finite amount, all right? So is there any way, if you had these four bars of gold sitting on your kitchen table, after you're going yay, all right, is there any way you can turn them into six or eight bars of gold without digging them up out of the back garden, all right, cutting them in half, all right, or buying them, or hijacking the golden goose, all right? There isn't, is there? It's a finite amount. So our golden goose on the other side of the fence, I mean, um, our investment portfolio, okay, we actually can produce six and eight bars of gold because we own a gold mine, all right? And we are part owners of it for holding or owning the crypto unit tokens. I hope I get that across to you, what we've got our hands on. We have got a growing asset. It's like a cash cow. You get to keep the tokens and earn the income. For example, Bitcoin, all right, when that goes up in value, yep, you make a profit. But to realize that profit, you need to sell the Bitcoin. All right, there is no ongoing residual income as part of it that we do with our token. How cool is that? All right, some of the different investments that are coming up in the future. All right, we will have uh, with a company called UG Pay, which we are owners of as part of the token. ATM machines. Now, these will have the functionality that you can put cash into them and buy cryptocurrency, right? Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and all the others, and our crypto units, all right? Additionally, it will have the functionality that you'll be able to put cryptocurrency into it and pull cash out, all right? What we, most countries are forced to do at the moment is actually withdraw it to their bank account as an income in transaction, all right? The IRS or the tax department will see that as an income, all right? But if you can transfer your Bitcoin or your crypto unit to cash and spend it, who's to know, <laughs> all right? Obviously seek, uh, seek advice from your accountant on that one, but uh, I know what I'm doing, all right? Now, another future one is the uh, linear city developments, all right? Imagine if our crypto unit goes out and buys a block, a huge block in a region of land for pennies on the dollar and then just creates a futuristic city where it's all green living. You know, walkways, gardens, uh, lakes, parks, all that sort of stuff in amongst all of the housing, all right? And all of the shops and services are in these towers. All right, schools, hospitals, shopping centres, florists, dentists, you name it. All right, all the towers are connected with Skyway unibuses. And then you've got a high-speed train taking you back to your major metropolitan area where most people work. All right, do you think that would be a rather desirable place to live? I mean, I would, absolutely. Now, if we are part owners in the real estate, the towers, the shopping centres, the dentists, the doctors, the, uh, the Skyway trains and the high-speed train running, it's called what we call the new economic evolution of the world, where we are part owners in everything we do, all right? Does that sound really cool? I know it does for me, all right? Now, ultimately, along the way, there will be future projects that we will in, be able to individually invest in also and earn residual incomes. It's kind of a triple dip because you can own them personally, all right? You'll have part ownership in the crypto unit, investment portfolio, and the Skyway equity shares. How cool is that? So that, all that's coming in the near future. Right, so what you can actually do is share this opportunity with others and earn instant commissions paid real time into your back office. Now you can either utilize that money to acquire more equity shares in Skyway, utility, uh, um, crypto units and loyalty bonuses with the launch we've got in Swig at the moment, 
or um, you can take it out and pull your shop buy your shopping with it. All right, we have many different passive income streams. First of all, you've got the Skyway equity shares in a couple of years' time. You've got the loyalty bonuses July this year, all right? And uh, obviously, if you decide to build a team, the commissions will come in day and night once it gets to a certain size. So there's a passive income right there. Now, wealth creation. I have never seen anything that's allowed us to generate as much wealth as, as we have with this opportunity. So it's very easy to get started. Obviously, it's just a matter of grabbing a link and setting up a free account with the person who's referred you, fill in some KYC. We've got lots of training and support. So whether you just want to invest in an education package and accumulate tokens or equity shares, you can do that. Or you can go ahead and build a team and we've got training and support to help you do that. All right. We want you to become a professional investor, both inside and outside of SWIG. We want you to create multiple massive passive income streams so that you can earn your financial freedom and then in turn help others. All right, first help yourself, then others. So we can all start doing what we love and follow our passion, all right? So what we're also doing is leaving a legacy for your family, all right? Not only, uh, well, for example, the Stevenson family who first invented the railway line, their family still receives billions of dollars in royalties paid to their trust every year even though the people who first invented it are long gone, all right? Um, they are, but I'll tell you what, they are not forgotten. Their names will live on through the ages because their family will continue to speak their name, You're, all right? So that's what we have the opportunity to do here today, have your name carry on within your family, all right? So for now, oh, my camera's off, where is it? So now that's the presentation. I hope every I hope I put my vision of what's in my head into yours. I know there's a lot to take in, um, but just let it absorb. All right. Now uh, what do we got to? Forty eight. There we go. Nearly fifty. Well done, guys. Um, what we'll actually do is open it up for questions. So if you've got any questions or you're not concerned about anything or you're concerned about something, either type it in the chat. All right, or unmute and come out and ask. Don't be shy. Because if you're thinking it, so is everyone else. <clears throat> so is everyone else. Well, did I do that? Got a job on the presentation. No one's got any questions. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll ask a question to myself because most people ask this every day. We, people want to know about the loyalty bonuses and what, you, what packages are available and what loyalty bonuses they're going to lead to. Can I just get some people nodding on the screen if they'd like to, to get that sort of information? Yeah, well, yeah, okay, we've got some nods and yes, it's all right. So after this, you're going to have to ask the questions, all right, guys. <laughs> so what I'll do is actually share the screen again and quickly zip through to that slide. All right. For starters, there are eight different token packages available in the pre-launch, okay? They range from $100 all the way through $1,000, $5,300 and up to $8,000 per package, all right? Stage one sold out in two days, not even. Stage two, the higher valued packages have sold out already, but we've still got the $1,500, $350, $250 and $100, all right? The figures I've got for the loyalty bonuses are based on stage one. And you can see that you don't, you're not getting that many more equity shares in stage one than stage two. So in stage one, if you bought, for example, the $1,000 pack, all right, for the first three months, i.e. March, April, May, and June, or May, was it? April, May, and June, you will receive no dividends but come July and August, you will start to get dividends, all right? Uh, month four, you'll get $50. Month five, you'll get 60. Month six, you'll get 83. Month seven, you'll get 300. And month eight, you'll get 462. Now, if you add all those five payments together, you will have received back your initial $1,000 outlay, all right? And from that point forward, 
you will be earning a an income every month of 462 or more growing every month for the life of the investment portfolio. Now, when I say that, the investment portfolio is set up to last generations, all right? So the $462 per month that's increasing every month will last your lifetime, all right? This is what people are looking for, ongoing increasing passive income. This is life-changing stuff. Now, I'll give the example of the 5,300 pack, all right? Through month five to eight or four to eight, you'll receive about $7,000 in return on your 5,300 outlay, right? But from month eight and onwards, you'll have a $3,365 monthly income or more growing for the rest of your life. The $8,000 package, you will have received back $12,000 in your first eight months, right? So you're four grand in front already and you'll have an ongoing passive income of 5,600 or more every month for the rest of your life. Is this not exciting? <laughs> all right. Now, I'll give the other example. If all you can afford is $100, all right, in the eight months, you'll receive about $80 of that back and you'll receive the other 20 in month nine, but you'll have a 25 monthly income, all right? Now, that might not sound like much, but month nine, you might get 35. Month 10, you'll get 55. Month 11, you'll get 80, 100, 200, 350, 500, 800, 1600. Can you see you will get to the income you need in time? It's just going to take a bit longer. All right, if you buy the bigger packages, you'll get there faster. That's as simple as that. So, I don't know about you, but I'm accumulating as many of these tokens as I can, all right, because we get the first bite of the cherry. We're getting these at a massive discount right now. But when it gets to the public, October, December, all right, the, the SEC process will start in October and the global merchandising will start in December. This is where the financial advisors will get hold of it and start releasing it to their databases. You know how they've got mutual funds and all that that they uh, promote when you go to them, right? Because they get a little kickback or a little commission for promoting things. And they'll get the same with our token, all right? They'll get a percentage profit for themselves and the people they refer it to will earn an ongoing passive income. So it's a win-win for them. So many financial advisors have very large databases of people. And when they promote it to them, they're not going to be selling it for thousands of dollars per to uh, per thousands of tokens per dollar. They're going to be selling it at one dollar per token. Come December, January. All right. So what do you think that means? That means the token's worth a dollar. So all these tokens we're accumulating now. Oh my God, they're going to be worth a dollar very, very soon. So this is very exciting. And of course, once it reaches the um, Stock exchange or SEC licensed and verified with quarterly um, audits and financial documentations, which will all be open book. They need to prove where every dollar is going. All right. Obviously, there'll be a lot of demand for this. So, what happens with that? Price goes up. All right. Plus, all of the money that comes in, 40% of it is being tipped back into the investment portfolio. Obviously, that makes the portfolio swell in size. Now, what happens when you've got a lot of money to invest? You start getting in on a lot of the uh, investment opportunities that, that times your money over many times over. All right, these guys are next level investors. They get into stuff that we can't even conceive half the time. All right, my investment experience is buying a unit in Adelaide, Australia. And it's been an absolute money pit. The guy downstairs has talked strata title into investing tens of thousands of dollars on fixing stuff. And then <laughs> they go, oh, by the way, you owe us $10,000 to fix the carport. And I'm going, ah, that's been my investment experience up until now. <laughs> I go and punch this guy in the face. It's cost me thousands of dollars, all right? And the unit's worth less now than what I bought it for. Because the real estate bubble's bursting in Australia. Go figure that. Now, what happens with the rich, all right? 
when there's blood in the streets, when you know housings are getting repossessed and all that, all right, they're up there buying up real estate because they're cashed up. Guess what we're going to be doing? All right, and we are part owners because we own the tokens. Do you get that? I'm trying, trying to put my head into yours so you can see where this is going. All right. Now, all right, someone's asking questions. Yay. All right. Do you know if they have added more companies in the crypto unit portfolio? Um, Philip, I would say yes, all the time. All right. But we haven't, they haven't announced it at the moment. Uh, and ultimately, you'll be able to see it in the three monthly audit and uh, financial. Um, uh, whatever you call it, the financial documentation. All right. Uh, will we still will we still receive loyalty bonuses when we go to the market in phase two in January? No, we won't receive loyalty bonuses. At that point, we will receive dividends. All right, because we're on the stock exchange. It's just a name change. All right, because we are in an internal launch, and we are not officially on the stock exchange yet. That's why we're calling them loyalty bonuses. But once this happens. From that point forward, they'll be called dividends. All right, now the really cool thing is that all of us, the token owners, will be able to vote on how we get the, the profits distributed. Now, I don't know of anyone who isn't going to vote for, we want an ongoing passive income. So they will absolutely continue on for the life of the investment portfolio, which is set up for generations, all right? So great question, Philippe. And in fact, all the bonus tokens that we are earning now by sharing it and building a team, all right, because when we, when we share this opportunity with people, we get paid three times, all right? They need to spend money on an education package that gets you equity shares in the Skyway technology as a gift, all right? You get paid a commission on that to qualify for the Crypto Unit Club, all right? Once you've qualified, then you can buy an education package here and accumulate tokens. Now, when someone does that, you get paid a percentage of the money they spend and also you get a percentage of the tokens they buy. So not only you get cash bonus, you accumulate tokens as well. All right, now many of us, I mean, I've accumulated a lot, but I've got a pretty sizable team. But look, I'll tell you the story of my father, all right? He's a 75-year-old ex-farmer. He's not a networker, right? He was curious what I was up to. He jumped on one of these Zooms, right? 50 people like today. And he's gone, holy cow. He went out and bought some of the tokens, all right? And then he said, how do I refer this? And I said, grab a bottle of Plonk, like red wine, go to your neighbour and tell him to come over and check out what Andrew's up to. Guess what? The neighbour joined. <laughs> I'm stunned still. I mean, this is a 75-year-old farmer, right, with his old floppy hat. <laughs> okay. And then he sponsored my cynical brother <laughs> and another person as well. And because he sponsored those three people, right? I mean, my brother, I'm, I've been in this 15 months. My brother never joined. In fact, he shit on me over it, all right? But <laughs> last laugh, he joined, all right? After the horse is folded. But um, dad has earned 60,000 tokens as a bonus. All right? He's a 75-year-old ex-farmer. If he can do it, anyone can. All right, 60,000 tokens in three days with three people. Those add up, all right? Especially when you're talking global merchandising, they're paying a dollar a token for it. I'll let that sink in. All right, next question. Um, show, uh, okay, Mr. Young, show the same illustration with $1,000 pack in the second stage. Uh, I don't have those figures, buddy, but they will not be much less than what the stage one one was. Does that make sense? So instead of having a $462 monthly income, you might get a $400 and $420 one, all right? But ultimately, in time, it's not going to make any real difference at all. So no matter what you buy in the different stages, in the $1,000 pack, the closer we get to the finish line, uh, how do I explain this so people can understand? In the initial launch, right, we've got eight stages. All right. The number of tokens that we get will reduce in each stage. All right. Now, from my understanding is the first three months, we don't get dividends. But from month four onwards, we do. 
Now, even if you're buying tokens in stage five, my understanding is that you will actually start getting dividends in month six, all right? Because, is that right? I mean, I'm getting us nods from a couple of the other leaders that we've done some research on this. So even though we're buying tokens now, all right, we're gonna get dividends starting in August, July, August. So whether you buy it in stage one or two or three, it doesn't matter because the, the dividends will start increasing very quickly anyway. So a thousand dollar pack will get you to a 500 or more income within about eight months. All right, approximately. No, it's nine, 10, 11, 12, you'll be getting up towards a thousand or more monthly income from it, from just a thousand dollar pack. So if you're cashed up, I'd absolutely go for the bigger one in stage three, all right? Because after stage three, the number of uh, equity or the, the tokens you get per dollar actually jumps drops down quite a bit because I believe that's when the um, the equity the loyalty bonuses start. Is that can I get a nod, Scott, if that's correct in your understanding? Yeah, yeah, that's my understanding of it too, yep. buddy. Yeah, so we've got the unique opportunity now to line up and build a team and accumulate some commissions ready for the stage three launch, which will happen once we sell out the remaining packages available in stage two, right? Now, what's happening is we've, we've only got 1,500, 350, 250, and 100 packs left. What's happening is they're selling out from the top down, all right? We've, we've almost sold out of the, of the thousands. There was like 200 left last night. I haven't checked this morning. Does anyone know how many thousand packs are left? Is anyone logged in they can tell me? It might be about 150 maybe if, if you're lucky. All right, so if you're just seeing this tonight, go out of your way to grab one of the remaining $1,000 packs. All right, so what it'll do, if you're under the age of 58, it will cost you 550 here, and then $1,000 there to get the $1,000 pack and the tokens. All right, you'll get 18,700 equity shares in the Skyway technology, which will be something of extreme value in the future anyway. All right, but here's the thing, if you're 58 or over, it'll cost you $100 here and then $1,000 there. If you can't afford the 1,000, grab whatever you can afford. Even if it's a $100 pack, absolutely get one of those, because in time, you will reach an income that changes your life, a monthly income, all right? All right, next question. Um, uh, Philippe, how long does the 58 year old qualification go for? My understanding is ever more. All right, because we, uh, or Andre Hirato, is trying to help the people that need it most, and he knows that pensioners are hurting. All right, that's why he's brought this in. He will continue. All right, and I had someone yesterday join and qualify with $100. All right. Uh, so absolutely, and in fact, I'll go one further. We've already requested that third world countries can have the $100 qualification as well, because $550 for native people in the Philippines, for example, is six months wages. It's like unreachable. So I've already requested with Andrew and, and, and pushed it further up that some of these people that live in, say, the Philippines, not, not foreigners living in the Philippines, natives, actually have the $100 offer as well, which I believe they will do something there as well to help them out. All right. Um, yeah, you're right. There is truly nothing uh, like SWIG that I've ever seen. Now, people that say that anything other than that obviously haven't done their due diligence or research because this is simply undeniable, guys. Um, loyalty bonuses in July, July, August, somewhere around there, buddy. Yeah. Um, the official date hasn't been announced, but I'm sure we'll get a surprise very soon. Uh, there'll be three stages. Um, yes, I've explained that. We've got three phases, the internal launch, the global merchandising and the security um, exchange commission and the public uh, launch on the stock exchange, all right? They're the three phases. If you want more information, uh, please watch Mila's launch webinar. It goes for about two and a half hours. It explains everything, all right? Uh, let me grab it. 
just checked on the back office, buddy, with available packages left with the thousand dollar packages is one hundred and sixty nine. Yep. With the five hundred five hundred packages is fifteen hundred and sixty five. Yep. Uh, the three hundred and fifty packages is two thousand eight hundred and ninety two. Yep. Two hundred and fifty packs is four thousand four hundred and eighty seven. And the one hundred dollar pack, six thousand three hundred and forty nine. So as you've touched on it, it's definitely the higher packs that are moving first. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. And then what will happen is everyone will pile in and just buy out the lower packages, right, to to sell them out. So yeah, uh, what? So about forty packs of the thousand got sold last night. All right. So that would indicate that you know we've only got three, maybe four days left before they sell out. Um, so absolutely guys, if you've got the opportunity to grab one of those, I would absolutely do so because they are worth a lot of money. Now, if by chance you can only afford a lower one, then grab a lower one and start building or saving for the larger packages when stage, th- stage three opens up. All right. Now we've got a bit of time because we're in what I call a consolidation phase right now. All those people who have bought the bigger packages are now building their teams to be able to buy more. All right, so what we're doing is building the size of our team now so that we accumulate some commissions, all right, and we start building our team and we're accumulating um, tokens along the way, which is more important. The value of these tokens in the future is going to be astronomical. So if you can share it and build the tokens up like Dad has, 60,000, all right, with three people, You'll be very, very thankful. But what we're doing is by the time we sell out stage two, you'll have a team sitting there. Mm. So guess what happens? When stage three launches, all of your team are going to buy packages like that. Guess what happens? Payday. You get a mass influx of commissions. Mm. Like on the stage one and stage two, I was gobsmacked at what happened. And I was expecting big, big things. I was literally like, Holy cow, look at this. I'm just refreshing the page and the commissions are going chop, 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 like this. I'm going far out. And I expected it to happen and it still stunned me. All right. Now, I can't put figures on it, but can you tell I'm a bit excited about what happened? All right. You too can have that. And it's a matter of just sharing the opportunity and getting a team rolling. All right. Now, any other questions? Um, uh, Is there. Is Andre also giving? Oh, right. Yes. For those who can only afford the $100 pack this month, all right, if you're a pensioner and you qualify with $100 and all you can afford is a $100 pack, all right, Andre Hirato has committed to give those people an additional 2,000 tokens out of his own wallet, all right, because he knows that they're the ones that are hurting. They're the ones that need the help. Now, does that tell you that it's not about the money for Andre? He's got millions of dollars. He doesn't need it. It's about helping those who need the help. Because what he wants is to lift everyone up to be able to have their own freedom so we're not basically in slavery to the government and the system. All right? Now, that was a really cool announcement. And I get that impression of Andre because I actually met him in Malaysia. All right? Uh, apart from all the meetings and the event and all that, we actually stayed there for a couple of extra days. On the Tuesday morning, Cherry May and myself were sitting there by ourselves in the hotel having breakfast, right? Andre, Amans, his wife, uh, Mila and Annette Martinstone come down for breakfast, all right? And they didn't sit on, a, on a, their own little table. They come over and sat with us. Is that saying something right there? You know, they're not too high and mighty. They, they want to meet the people. So... Um, now, uh, yes, all month for the month of April, and I dare say he may well extend that. I'm not sure. It's up to Andre. Now, I actually posted Mila's uh, video there in the chat, guys. Um, oh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. One, Felipe, but I think I just answered it. The 2,000 tokens, yes, is just for the older people, I believe. So if you can afford if you can afford a larger package, don't just buy the 100 to get the 2,000 tokens. All right, if you can buy a larger package, you get more tokens per dollar anyway. You'll get better value out of a larger package, all right? It's just for those who just can't afford anyone. 
Right, Scott, you got your washing machine going here again, buddy. Um, there's a lot of people on their phones and they don't know how to ask a question. So right. for those of those of the people who are on the phones, they can press star six to come in and ask a question. Oh, awesome. Star six, is that how you do it? All right. I have a question, Andrew. And uh, go. How are you going? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Awesome, buddy. Uh, I actually got a chance to watch your presentation and everything, and I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Very, awesome. very informative. Thank you. Um, my question is, um, so stage one, stage two, stage three. Yes. If you purchase individual packages on each stage, yes. will the loyalties be based on the first stage or will it be a combination of all three that you've purchased? It will be based on the number of tokens that you own. Okay. All right. But in yeah, stage West. one, you got more tokens than stage two. Now, stage two, you get more tokens than stage three, but not by much. All right. In, uh, in stage one, I think you got 4,900,000. In stage two, you get 4,200,000. In stage three, you get 4 million tokens. So there's not that many less tokens from the three stages, all right? So they're the ones, and, and obviously from stage four onwards, I think we'll all be receiving the uh, loyalty bonuses. Because what happens right. is after, after stage three, the number of tokens per pack drops down significantly, all right, and then goes from there. So that indicates to us that that's when the loyalty bonuses start. So if you're just coming in and buying in stage four, you'll get loyalty bonuses month one, but you, you get a lot less tokens per dollar spent than you do in the first three stages. All right? So... Okay. Yeah, my, problem, yep. <laughs> yeah, my, my problem is financially and everything. I mean, I'm pretty much saving and everything for each stage. Okay. So, um, you know, so that's what I was wondering, you know, if, if I land up purchasing, being able to purchase a little bit more in, uh, well, I've already made purchases in stage one and stage two. Yep. So when stage three comes up and I make a purchase, and then yep. for what I understood after that, that's it. No, well, you'll, you'll add all of the tokens together and you'll start getting loyalty bonuses on it. But you can still okay. buy packages in stage four, five, six, seven, and eight. Don't worry. And you should. Even if it's just a $100 pack, right, to help sell them out. Because we want to get to stage eight because we want it to go to global merchandising. That's when all of these people start paying a dollar each for them. All right. And so it, we, 40 cents so we every can. dollar goes into the portfolio. Yeah. Okay. So we can continue to purchase through all eight stages. Yes. But you'll only, be able, to, you'll only be able to buy one package of the same value. So if you've bought a hundred dollar package already in stage two, you can't buy it again in stage three. You need to buy the 250 and you can't buy then the 100 or the 250, so you've got to buy the 350, all right? So you're only allowed to have one of each package, all right? Uh, okay. So that's going to kill buy. That's going to kill a poor man like me because after uh, I get through with all of them, I can't do anything higher than that, but it's all good. I understand. I, Thank you. But here's the, here's the thing. I couldn't afford the 8,000 package in stage one either. All right, I had $1,500 sitting there ready. I was, I was going to get... I let some accumul um, commissions accumulate up to get the 2,500 pack. But what happened is it went chunk, 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 straight past the 2,500 and 8,000 and kept going. And I went, bonus, buy the 8,000 pack. All right, that's what a team does. So if right. you don't think you can afford it, start sharing it and build a team. Because, you know, when the yeah. three comes along, chunk, 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 you'll be able to afford a lot larger package than you thought. Right. And then every stage, you'll get another payday because everyone will pile in and buy another package, right? The bigger your team, the more packages get bought, the more commissions you make, all right? Now, I mean, you don't have to. You can sit in this, buy the packages and just sit on them and do nothing and you'll earn a lot of money. But you build a team, you will compound your efforts insanely, even if it's a two, three, four people, all right? Start out with one or two, all right? And they might share it a couple of times and then whammo, off it goes. All right, or Veronica, right. I think I saw Veronica on there. She's out in the countryside at the moment. When she joined about a week ago, or a week and a half ago, I'm not sure when it was, the first day she jumped on the telephone and said, hey, you've got to come and check this thing out, all right? She had six people on the next call, and guess what? They all joined. 
a team of six in a day, that's pretty good going. And they have started to introduce people themselves. So look what happened in a day. She started a team that's starting to grow on its own. Right? Anyone can do that. It's a matter of overcoming your fear of talking to people or the fear of rejection, like they might say no. And my answer to that is, so what? Are they going to pay your bills? All right? And you can do it in a way where you don't piss people off. All right? If they're not open to looking, just say, oh, cool, we'll catch you down the pub for a beer one day. And just hang up and ring the next person. That's as bad as it can happen. You know, They might say, oh, no, that's a scam. I say, it's not. Do your research, mate. It's undeniable. All, everything we've said we're going to do has been done. Look at all the trains, all the videos. They're all done. Can't deny it, all right? The people who right. say that are ill-informed and just giving you their opinion without any facts to back it up, all right? Because if they actually do the research, they'll know that it's not. So, um, and that's why people are so gun-shy these days. They're so quick to make judgment on things that sometimes research isn't done. So anyway, uh, any other questions? Uh, yes, yeah. I have a question. I, have. Uh, I heard Vince first. Um, all right. Um, so my question is, um, if you uh, just like, uh, if you if you buy the, let's say you buy the the, the package on first uh, first stage. Yeah. And uh, sec, but you start getting pay. You start getting pay on the month four, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that for each packages you uh, you buy? Uh, my understanding is month four, you'll start to get loyalty bonuses on the number of tokens you own. All right. Now, whether you buy them in stage one, two, or three, you will get paid on the uh, packages that you own. All right, so there won't be any three month delay for each package, from my understanding. I think, from my understanding, too, buddy, correct me if I'm wrong, that's uh, only applicable to the packages that we've bought, yes. not the packages that we've got in commissions. They will kick in once we hit the stock exchange and get. Uh, yep, absolutely. So, uh, yes. the, way, the way I understand it, um, let's say uh, the, the, um, I, I bought the, the package on first stage. Yep. And when the, the uh, uh, July, July uh, let's say July, the no, July, August, uh, yep. August, I'm gonna start uh, start uh, get pay uh, get pay, right? Yep. And um, I let's say I I bought not a not a package in stage, stage two. Stage yes. two. You get paid the so, same time as you get paid for stage one. If you buy a package, oh, I'm get stage paid, three, I'm gonna get. The all the yep, all the loyalty bonuses will start in August, from my understanding. So whether you buy packages oh. in one, two, or three, they'll all start in August. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at uh, stage eight. No, it's just the amount of tokens you own. Now, what Scott said oh. is the uh, the bonus tokens that we are earning. You will not get paid loyalty bonuses on those until mm -hmm. we go to the stock exchange. All right, at that point where it changes from loyalty bonus. To dividend, uh -huh. all right, at that point, loyalty bonus, dividend, okay? At that point, when we get paid dividends, you'll be paid on all of the tokens. So the ones you've bought and the ones you've earned in commissions. Oh my God, oh right. my God. So does that, does that spin your mind? I mean, a lot of people, right, they've bought, for example, they've got 400,000 tokens that they've bought. They bought a $1,000 pack. And many right. people have actually earned more tokens than that, what they bought in commissions. I know I have. All right. Wow. And and I, wow. I got you know if you can work out the sums, I got the eight thousand pack in stage one, and I've earned more tokens in commissions than I bought. And many people have done the same. Or even if you get half of the number of tokens that you bought. That's still maybe two, three hundred thousand tokens that you get as a bonus that you'll get paid dividends on when we hit the stock exchange as a security official security token offering. Right? So yeah, the, the more you understand about this, the bigger it gets because the magnitude of this is is so huge that people just don't like they're, they're limiting beliefs like it's too good to be true. All right, money doesn't grow on trees. If they've got a Lamborghini, they're doing something illegal. All right. The rich are all evil. 
all these things you see in movies and your parents drumming it into you as a kid, screw them all up and throw them away. We've got financial freedom, like in months, not years. All right, we, we are going to be set up come the end of the year. That's what we uh, we're so excited now. Um, yeah, you can only buy one per change. Yeah, and absolutely, absolutely. Time to build a downline. All right. I have now, a question. Yeah, Maria. Yes. Yes. Hi. You're, I have a question. Go. Ask away. I know. Yeah, I'm going to start building a team. Get out awesome. there and build a team. But when, what if your team that you're building? Yep. Want to chuck in eight thousand dollars worth? Yes. But they're doing it as a group thing. Yeah. Yeah. What if you? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to want to go out there and form a team. Yeah. But if you get to a group of people that say, "Hey, look, we've got eight grand put together to purchase a that big pack." Yeah. Um, I look. What do I? That that, that, know what I'm is, saying? Something, that is something that you, the the group of people will have to trust each yeah, other so, on. So they can put that all so, through one account, and then when the dividends come in, they can share it to the different people. So that's something so that, that you can manage. I, I suspect internally if they want to do it that way. Yes. Yeah, so this. Oh, yeah. That's all I. Ask, all I want to know. So, so you, you. you can't actually do an, a, a a group thing through Sweet himself. No. They want all individuals, but if the group of people want to put all their money together and put it through one account, yeah. And then when the money comes in, you distribute it. Yeah, that's the plan. It's, it's I guess you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, okay. um, yep. And I was going to ask, say, I thought she was going to ask if you get someone that buys an eight thousand pack. All right, mm -hmm. beneath you, it's like, hey, because <laughs> not only do you earn six hundred and forty dollars like that. You also earn about eight percent of what the tokens they buy. Right now, I mean, I had personal people buy eight thousand packages on, on me, and I got, I got six hundred and forty dollars. And because you're getting five million tokens at the time, I got eight percent of that. That's four hundred thousand tokens for that one person by buying a thousand dollar pack. Anyway, any other questions, guys? Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Patrick Scott, can you mute out your washing machine? It's very loud there, buddy. Oh, okay. Give me a second. I'll turn the volume down. No, you're right, Patrick. Scott had the something in the background. So, yeah, okay. fire away, Patrick. Okay, so I'm curious. If I came in with the $250 package and yes. then I started to build a team just yes. off of word of mouth, let's basically yes. say I end up getting like maybe like five or ten people here in the District of Columbia. Perfect. Um, yep, good start. Wise, what would basically happen? What would happen, all right, you would earn a percentage of every dollar they spent, both in qualifying in the Skyway side and the money they spent on the token, so you get paid twice in cash, and you would start accumulating bonus tokens as well. Uh, and that would be the best thing you can do. Now, this thing is growing better on word of mouth than you do with any marketing system, or in fact, it duplicates better because people, all they need to do is ring up and say, holy cow, you should see what I saw last night. And I go, what is it? I couldn't That's explain it. All right? People, like you can, if everyone came in and did what Veronica did and jump on and ring six or seven people and get them on the call, you'd have a team of five or six people in the first day. If everyone did this, we'd have thousands of people on the call. All right? Um, okay. So, and it's possible. I mean, Veronica's got a team up to about 30 people already in a week and a bit. Now, if that's not growing with momentum, because what her team is doing is now they're inviting and it's starting to take on a life of its own. Now, I know this because my team's just chunking up by many people a day and I'm not putting them in. I'm running these webinars, giving people the chance to jump in and tap into it all right, and grow their teams. And that's why it's exploding for many different people because we've got our core leaders that invite new people to these things every day. You can see we've had another 50 50 people on today or close to, all right? Many of these are new people and they're all joining. After seeing all the excitement and looking around at everyone, they want to be part of something. So absolutely, if you go out and invite 10 people to the call, they'll probably, most of them will join, 
you might get the odd cynical person, but you can't can't please everybody. And what will happen is your team will literally explode. Veronica, can I ask where you are? Is that a mine or something, or a beach or something in the background? No, you mute. Yeah, so now. Yeah, I'm I'm at my parents' shack at the beach. Oh, there you go. On the beach, a shack on the beach. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And Veronica, by the way, is the one that invited six people on their first day. Congratulations, to Veronica. Hey, can you share what you said to the Thank people you. to get them on the call? When you rang them up, what did you say? Um, initially, I started sending messages and then I realised there was a better way and so they could hear, hear what I was saying and hear the excitement in my voice. So I started using voice messenger. Uh, in Messenger, I'd be using the voice message thing. And, yep. and um, yeah, and I'd pretty much just tell them, you know, I found an, a very exciting opportunity where I'm going to be earning a passive monthly income and um, I did invite them to the Zoom call. That's it. So really a one sentence. I say, mate, I found something really cool we're going to earn passive income out of. Can you jump on a Zoom call and see if you see what I saw? There it is. That's as, as simple as you've got to be, guys. You do not need to sell it. Leave the selling up to me. All right? I've done this a few times, all right? And when people come on, I provide the information. They look around and see everyone's excited faces, nodding and all that, and they're going, holy cow, I need to get on this. Something's really on the go here. All right? So all you need to do is get them on this call and you'll sponsor them. All right? But the beautiful part is Veronica basically said nothing other than be excited and say, we're going to make a lot of money out of this. <laughs> is that something to learn from? Pretty much. Six people in a day. Yeah. All right, learn from what she did. <laughs> right there. And make it sound like you. All right, don't, don't be robotic like a, I have found a new opportunity that's going to give us passive income. And, and people are going, what the hell are you talking about? It's got to sound natural and you. How would you recommend a movie? Right? You say, oh, I, I watched Deadpool last night. It was piss funny. You've got to watch it. All right? That's how you need to refer people to this. It's got to sound like you. You can't have a red script as such. All right? To do that, you can probably work out what you want to say and practice it a few times in the mirror until it rolls off the tongue and then go. All right? Now, that's not... No one has to know. You don't need to get embarrassed about that. But what it does is it gets your your um, spiel or your one sentence so it rolls off so people can hear it and, and it doesn't sound manufactured or fake. All right. So any other questions, guys? Uh, Willie just said if he bought the 1,000 package in stage two, can he buy it again in stage three? My uh, thought is no. You'll either be able to buy the 500 or the 2,500 pack. Leave the thousand dollar packs for someone who hasn't got one yet. Does that make sense? Because every you know, and what they've done is, if you've already got an eight thousand pack, you're not allowed to buy another one. So, in other words, give someone else the opportunity that you had because you've probably got enough tokens with the eight thousand pack. All right. Um, you know, I'm just buying some of the smaller packs now just to help them sell out in each stage because I've got enough equity shares. Uh, I've got enough tokens. Sorry. So, um, any other questions, guys? Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Unless we've got any last-minute things, um, for those who are new on the call, I'll go as far as to say welcome to the team. Because, uh, and if you haven't got it all yet, stick your foot in the door. All right? Because you don't want to miss this. Do your research. Stick your foot in the door. Qualify. You have a hundred dollar package and just be around it, all right? Because what will happen is sooner or later, the penny will drop and you will understand the magnitude of what we've got our hands on. It happens to all of us, myself included. When I first joined, I dismissed it three months, and then my sponsor came back and said, Dude, are you sure you really want to miss this? All right? Because I was doing Bitcoin at the time, you know, I'm set. <laughs> In December 2007, before it went, all right? Um, and yeah, 
I, I, I missed out on three months where I could have been growing this uh, because I didn't understand it and I didn't do enough research into it. All right, so be around it, let the penny drop. Uh, and it happens for everyone because there is a lot to take in. All right, there's a lot of information and, and sometimes it's just like your head's pulsing. You go, man, this sounds good, but I don't understand it yet. Rewatch the opportunity meeting. Go and watch some videos. We've got an information page with like heaps of videos on it. In fact, what I'll do is I'll drop that in the, I'll drop my information page in the chat, guys, if you want to watch that. Feel free. There's no links on it. Don't worry about it. I'm not trying to steal anyone. Right, there's just a whole string of videos on there that if you watch them working down the page, your understanding will kick in. Now, two times a day, we are running these webinars, all right, on the same link as we're on now, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time USA every day, straight through Easter, all right, because people who can't afford to go away are looking for a way. We can build it straight through Easter if you want, and I'm only doing day trips. So I can still have the time to do an hour in the morning, an hour at night, and then go and do whatever I need to do during the day, all right? And the other time is 8.30 p.m. Australian time in Melbourne, all right? So which works out at about 6.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time in USA. So if you've got people on shift work or whatever, they can attend that. <coughs> but that's also good for all of the Australia, Asia, India, and UK time frames. So that, that covers all the other time zones, all right? So we've got 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time USA and 6.30 a.m. or 8.30 p.m. Australian Time, all right? Invite people along and when they get on these um, calls, they generally join, all right? So for now, unless there's any last minute comments or words to say, we'll call it. Uh, get back to the person who has invited you and get on board, guys. Stick your foot in the door. All right, for now. Andrew out, have an awesome night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow night, one or the other. All right, who's excited? Cheers, buddy. Yo, yeah, come baby. in. Absolutely. All right, guys, have an awesome day. See ya. Thanks, mate. Cheers, guys. Bye.